major reversal of position. German Chancellor Angela Merkel announced that Germany will abandon all nuclear power development. In fact, it's going to be shutting down all of its 17 nuclear power plants by 2022. Germany, the first major economy to abandon nuclear power in the wake of the disaster in Japan. Chris Gadamaski is here in the newsroom right beside me. He is the lead nuclear analyst at Bloomberg New Energy Finance. Chris Gadamski, sorry about your sure. name there. Um, quick question about this. I mean, this is a huge U-turn for Angela Merkel, right? Where is Germany going to get this 20% power back from? I should make it clear, 20% is the amount that was fueled in the past from nuclear reactors? Well, the German strategy has been to use nuclear as a transition to a renewable uh, technology uh, future. So um, the German government is very, very emphatic on trying to reduce energy consumption, so energy efficiency is going to be very important, and to expand the development of renewable technology, specifically wind and solar. So the anticipation is, is that nuclear will gradually phase out and that renewables will take up a larger and larger share of the power generation but, Chris, needs. Who, who's going to pay for for this because wind and solar are a lot more infrastructure costly, aren't they? Well, that's one of the concerns that the Germans are probably going to face. Uh, our analysis suggests that the price of electricity could jump 6% this year, and some uh, reports by the BDI group uh, in Germany suggest that well, we could see significantly higher prices by the year 2018 when the, when the impact has started to be really felt. But you said something important as well. I mean, the average German citizen is not really in favor of nuclear power anyway, so even if it ends up costing the country more money, do you think there's going to be political support? I mean, I mean, it seems I saw one poll that says 70 percent of the German public is actually against nuclear energy. Uh, that's true. The Germans are very, very nervous about uh, nuclear power, and this stems back from the experience they had following Chernobyl. So we think that the Germans are very, very supportive and are willing to pay higher prices for renewable uh, technology uh, because they're very, very much committed to seeing a renewable future. But in the meantime, until the solar infrastructure is built out, until the wind infrastructure is built out, Germany does have to find excess power from somewhere. Do you think they're going to have to go knocking on France's door? I mean, we know France has about 75 percent of its energy comes from nuclear reactors. Does Germany just have to wait in line and sort of hope that France passes down some power? Well, two things. I think there's going to be an increased reliance on Germany in the near term for fossil fuels, which some estimates suggest probably 50 percent increase. Uh, and that's going to have an adverse impact on the CO2 emissions. And of course, there's certainly opportunities to import electricity from neighboring countries countries and um, hopefully it will be green technology. Well, green technology, you mentioned that a lot of people talk about natural gas as being the greenest, at least if you compare it to sort of pure coal burning activities. Does that mean or what are the implications, I guess I should ask you, between Germany and say Russia? I mean, they have some long term natural gas contracts already in place. Is that just an easy switch for them to work out? Well, everyone's excited about um, the possibility of taking Russian natural gas, but the problem with that is energy security issues. Russians have been known to turn off the tap, and there's pricing disputes or unhappiness with the way that's being delivered. So that's a very real concern. We always look, uh, when we make energy po policy decisions, to look at the social, technological, economic, environmental, and political uh, trade-offs that have to be made. In this case, we're trading off a technology that is a low-cost producer for technology that is environmentally clean and has as an upside for the future. Chris Gadomsky, thanks so much for joining us right here in the newsroom from Bloomberg New Energy Finance.